Hi friends, it's Miss Uribe. How are you? I miss you. I am going to read you a story today called Good Night, Good Night by Shelley Moore Thomas. I'm reading the words off Mr. Uribe's phone so I can't show you the pictures, but I'm gonna do the best I can. Sit down, get your wiggles out, catch your bubbles, put on your listening ears and let's go. Good night, good night. Shelley Moore Thomas. Pictures by Jennifer Plekis. Once there were three little dragons. They lived in a dark cave. The cave was in a dense forest. The forest was in a faraway kingdom. The poor little dragons were very lonely in their deep, dark cave. In the kingdom, there was a good knight. Every night he kept watch. He watched from a crumbly, tumbly tower. It was on top of a very tall wall, rhyming words. One night, the good knight was on his watch. He heard a very large, very loud roar. I don't know if you can see the pictures. You can try. So the good knight left the crumbly tumbly tower. He climbed down the very tall wall. He jumped on his horse. Away, he said. He galloped through the king's forest. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. He came to the deep dark cave. Inside he saw the first little dragon. What's this, he asked. Methinks it's a dragon and he drew his shimmery, glimmery sword. The dragon had on his jammies. He was all ready for bed. Oh good, you have come, said the dragon. Could you bring me a drink of water, please? Then I can go to sleep. The good knight did not know what to think, but he was a good knight. So he got a drink of water he gave it to the dragon. Then he tucked him into bed. Good night, good dragon. Sleep well, sleep tight, said the good knight. Then he galloped away. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. The good knight went back through the king's forest. Clippity clop, clippity clop. He got off his horse, thud. He climbed up the very tall wall to the crumbly tumbly tower. Then he stood on watch. He stood on watch for five minutes. One, two, three, four, five. Then he heard another very large, very loud roar. Roar! I don't believe this, he said. He left the crumbly tumbly tower. He climbed down the very tall wall. He jumped on his horse. Away, he cried. He galloped through the king's forest. Clippity clop, clippity clop. He came to the deep, dark cave. The second dragon was in her jammies. She was all ready for bed. Oh, good, you have come, said the second dragon. Can you read me a story, please? Then I can go to sleep. And could I have another drink of water, said the first dragon. The good knight did not know what to think, but he was a good knight. So he read the dragon a story. Then he tucked her into bed. He got the first dragon another drink of water. Then he tucked him into bed. Good night, good dragons. Sleep well, sleep tight, said the good knight. Then he galloped away. Clippity clop, clippity clop. The good knight went back through the king's forest. Clippity clop, clippity clop. He got off his horse, thud. He climbed up the very tall wall to the crumbly tumbly tower. Then he stood on watch. He stood on watch for two minutes. One, two. Then he heard another very large, very loud roar. This is too much, he said. He left the crumbly tumbly tower. He climbed down the very tall wall. 
He jumped on his horse. Away, he cried. He galloped through the king's forest. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He came to the deep, dark cave. The third dragon had on his jammies. He was all ready for bed. Oh, good, you have come. Could you sing me a song, please? Then I can go to sleep. And could you read me another story, said the second dragon. And could you get me another drink of water, said the first. The good knight did not know what to think, but he was a good knight. So he sang the dragon a song, then he tucked him into bed. He read the second dragon another story, then he tucked her into bed. He got the first dragon another drink of water, then he tucked him into bed. Good night, good dragons, sleep well, sleep tight, said the good knight. Then he galloped away. Clippity clop, clippity clop. The good knight went back through the king's forest. Clippity clop, clippity clop. He got off his horse. Thud. He climbed up the very tall wall to the crumbly tumbly tower. Then he stood watch. He stood on watch for one minute. Then he heard the largest, loudest roar of all. Roar! Not again, he said. He left the crumbly tumbly tower. He climbed down the very tall wall. He jumped on his horse. Away, he cried. He galloped through the king's forest. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He came to the deep, dark cave. Oh, good, you have come, said all three dragons. Let me guess, said the good knight. Another drink of water? No, said the first dragon. Another story, said the second dragon. I mean, no, said the second dragon. Another song, said the third dragon. No, said the third dragon. Then what do you want, said the good knight. We need a good night kiss, said the little dragons. And they lifted their scaly little tree cheeks. This has gone too far, said the good knight. But he was a good knight. So he bent and kissed each scaly little cheek. Good night, good dragons. Sleep well, sleep tight, he said. The dragon said, good night, good night. The good knight left the cave. He waited outside. He heard the loud dragon snores. <sighs> Then the good knight went home through the king's forest. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He got off his horse. Thud. Now, said the good knight, maybe I can get a good night's sleep. And that is just what he did. Sleep well, sleep tight, good night. All right, my friends, I hope you loved that story as much as I do. See you soon. Bye.